Hey guys, it's Ty's Minecraft 360 here with another video for you guys today, and today I am um, going to be reviewing another um, gas mask. If you watched one of my pr my previous video, I uh, my last two videos, I reviewed the GP5 Russian gas mask, and uh, also I told you how to make uh, some homemade filters. Which, uh, oh by the way, um, I might make an update on that. Maybe, maybe not in one of my videos, because the fil original filter design that I had made for these wasn't exactly... I mean, it worked, kind of, but didn't block some things, so I'll update that in another video. But that's besides the point of this today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing another gas mask I got this morning. It's currently, like, dark, like, om near almost midnight, but this morning in the mail I got this gas mask. And this gas mask... I'm holding right now, uh, gas mask is nice, um, uh, it's neat, it's interesting, it, um, you guys probably already know what it is from the title, um, but it is, uh, a newer mask, it looks old, but uh, I'll just show it to you guys, it's, uh, this mask here, it's a little deformed from the shipment packaging, the way they shipped it, but, um, this is the Hungarian M76, or, or I've heard some people say 76M gas mask. <clears throat> this was made during the Cold War by Hungary. It's Hungarian. And uh, is a very similar design to the German World War II M30, um, GM30, not M30, GM30 um, gas mask, which was a, a basic design, kind of this design where you have a, a canvas material with, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn a flashlight on here real quick. Uh, rubber inside, canvas outside. So, uh, so oh, basic overview of the mask. You have your two eye lenses, kind of the crimped on kind of eye lenses, similar to the GP5. You got a plastic intake and exhale valve here, um, assembly here, a metal band here to hold that in and make a seal. Um, you got little bits of glue, kind of, from seal, but that's okay. It was new old stock, so you got your, uh, your, sh your straps, which the straps on this are not bad. Um, you got this leather pad here. I'm not sure what kind of leather, but some kind of leather or whatever. Um, like, back, that goes on the back of your head. And then you got elastic straps. They're not like the German gas masks that have springs on the inside. I can feel it. It's just it's just an elastic strap. It's not the springs like the German masks were. I thought they were, but they're not. But um, it has a... What? How many attachments? You got one, two, three, four, five-point harness straps. Um, six if you count this one, because this one... You put the mask on, and you have a little clip on the here, if you can see that, and you bring this strap around, and then click it, clip it onto this side, and I'll show you that when I put the mask on. Um, it did come with a filter, um, and it's this filter here. This is the included filter. I'm not going to be using this filter, um, because it's very similar to the GP5, and most likely contains asbestos. Most filters... Um, uh, from this era and made by this kind of company because most uh, Gost uh, Warsaw packed um, uh, filters, <clears throat> especially the Soviet Russian ones, but other countries too used asbestos in their filters even in like the late 80s. So um, this fil this mask is dated on the inside. It is kind of gone, the date, but it is still there. And I'm pretty sure it says 1989, so it's probably one of the newer masks that you can get. Um, the the reason why the and it's called the M76 because the, the uh, design was this mask was designed and produced in began production in 1970 nine, yeah 1976. Make sure I got that right. Um, and then this one's uh, and they kept making it until like the 90s or something. And this one's a 1989 production. So a little bit newer. I got a size 2. You can see that there, stamped, size 2. Um, now, one thing about the sizing is that it's kind of confusing. In fact, it's backwards. If you're used to, like, Soviet 
GP5 kind of sizing systems where it goes 0 to 4 and 0 being the smallest, 4 being the biggest. Um, if you're getting this, I got a size 2, a size 2 Soviet um, gas mask fits me, um, but and this is a size 2 of this filter, uh, filter, I keep saying that, mask, um, a size 2 mask, um, this fits me too. I had to tighten the straps a little bit to get a proper seal on my face, and I still think I might tighten it up just a little bit more, but for now it works just fine for basic use. I've, I've heard that the seal, I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard that on the seal around the face piece here is a, a goat leather, I think. That's what I heard it was. It's a weird texture. It's got, it's kind of weird, but it's it's not like uncomfortable or anything. It's just fine. Um, inside the mask, uh, you have this little. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, let me turn the flashlight on again. Uh, you got a little uh, like chin support strap thing in here. Let me get it out. See like this thing inside here for a chin support, and then inside you got your uh, exhale and intake and your eye lenses. Let me turn that off because it's really bright. But uh, so now I am going to um, put it on. Well, actually, before I put it on, there's this strap here, which is a strap that you can put around your neck and wear the mask and like let it dangle on you when you're wearing it or like when you're not wearing it, I should say, because. Um, put it around your neck and it just kind of dangles here on on you and it did come with a carrying bag I'll get to that in a second um so let me get on let me get the bag here um my bag I got mine and mine's not in the best condition because um the buttons I've seen this before on other people's masks because the buttons are all rusted up when it should be all shiny and silver kind of like a more like what this one is. It should be like that, but all of them. When even this one's shiny is rusted, so I don't really use the buttons. I only just got it, but I'm gonna try to de-rust it with like uh, some sandpaper WD-40 to loosen up, loosen it up, and stuff like that. See how it's like shiny right there? It should be like that all all over. Uh, I don't know why everything is in such good condition, but this is like horrible. I don't get it. But other than that, it's an okay bag. It's not my favorite. It's got some dividers. Let me turn the light on one more time. Oh, you got some dividers in there. One one side for your filter and one side for your mask. I'm um, sorry. Uh, so yeah, the bag is not my favorite, and I probably won't be able to get all the rust off of the buttons. But I do have my GP5 gas mask bag, and I'll probably just use that instead because it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, open up the included filter and show you what it looks like with the original filter on. And uh, again, I will put the old filter on, but just like the GP5 filter, it most likely c it, it, this one most likely contains asbestos. This this filter is not confirmed to contain asbestos, but it most likely contains asbestos because it's the same like. Manu um, I think it's the same manufacturer. I mean, it looks almost identical to a GP5, just bigger and darker colored. Other than that, they're like the same thing. So, um, I have... Oh, actually, never mind. Um, so, I'm just going to put this on with this filter and holding my breath to not take a risk of breathing in any asbestos. Um, if you're... I can't stop you from using one of these filters, um, but one thing you can do to check if uh, if this filter is safe or not, first of all, look inside the filter. See that white, like, cotton? If that's all, like, black with charcoal, I mean, you might see some paint, because both my GB5 and this one has some paint splattered on the inside, like, ex like uh, overspray, but that's not charcoal. If you see, like charcoal dust and dirt then and, and if you go like this on your hand or a white sheet of paper and a ton of charcoal dust comes out which something's coming out of here but it's probably what well, my gp5 filter also had something come out of it but then it stopped and it seems like the same thing for this it stopped so this filter is most likely good um like 
probably safe enough to use, but I'm not going to, mainly because, one, it's just not a very good risk to take, and second, my, most importantly, my mom said no. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the mask on with the old filter and not breathe through it. I'm going to hold my breath while doing so. So this is what it looks like on. Then, like I said, let's go do the strap. Again, I'm not breathing through this. And it's kind of hard to do this. I'm running out of breath. All right, well, um, if you saw my GP5 gas mask video, uh, it was kind of hard for uh, uh, you guys to understand me inside of that mask. You guys should be able to understand me better in this one since it's not as, like, enclosed and as thick. So, this one should be a little bit easier for you guys to hear me through this mask. But, I'll go ahead and put this on one more time because that was kind of pathetic. Oh, come on. One thing I will say is that the eye lenses fog up really easily, so, like, um, gosh darn it. But, um, they fog up real easy, but I found out that, uh, if you breathe through your nose instead of your mouth, it fogs up far less. So, I'm going to put this on one more time, just so you guys can get a really good look at it. Sorry, it's a little dark. Mm, let me turn the light on. Come on. Never mind. So, that's the original filter. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend that you use this filter. But, I mean, with these old filters, such as the GP5 and filters like this, really, I don't advise that you use them. But just, it's a more of a use at your own risk kind of thing. Like, the chances of you breathing in asbestos from one of these filters is there, and it's more of a personal risk than anything else. Because it, 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 the chance is there, and that's really your choice to make. But of course, if you are young, and you're like my age, I'm 14. If you're my, more like my age, then... Make sure you talk to, like, your mom or dad first before doing something stupid like breathing through one of these filters. But I do have a safe filter to show you guys. And I will be making a separate video on this filter. But it is the uh, somewhat famous, uh, I guess, I don't know if you call it famous, but the F Polish FP5 filter. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, the Polish FP5 filter. So, I'm going to use this filter. And like I said, I am going to be making a separate video dedicated to this filter. So, that's with the FP5 filter. And since it has the normalized threads, it fits this mask just fine. And then let me do a pressure check here. So, it does pressurize. Not the best, the GP5 does pressurize better than this mask, but, uh, uh, oh, one last thing I forgot to show you guys. The, uh, included filter sock. Uh, this goes over your included filter, let me... Come on. Oh, yeah, I like this. See, like this. has a little bit of cork, like, in here to, uh, make a gap between the, uh, intake and the sock so you don't suffocate when we're having this on. I don't personally like the filter sock, but it's there. And then, uh, yeah. So, that's my general overview of this mask. I'm going to take it off now because I feel like it'd be a lot easier for you guys to understand me with this off. So, alright, let me get my glasses back on. Um, so, my overall thoughts on this mask. Um, it's an okay mask. Um, since it was kind of based off of the G um, G GM30 um, German World War II gas mask, 
if you're looking for like a supplement for a World War II German gas mask, this will look probably look the part because it's the same, a very similar design. And you can use modern, say, filters, as I just demonstrated, with the FP5 filter. And these filters are already kind of scarce enough nowadays, but they do work with this mask. Now, this isn't the most practical mask. You can get more, far more practical, such as the GP5 is even more practical than this. But if you're looking for a functional, practical gas mask, I mean, don't get these old things. But if you're looking for something that's cool and fun and does technically work... These gas masks are great. Um, I did test this mask with this filter and a, uh, another filter I have, which uh, I'll do another review on it too, but that's safe. Um, but it does work. Um, I've tested this filter on, uh, I think I just tested it on essential oils, but most importantly I tested it on smoke bombs and it, smoke, it blocks that. And I did test it with both the GP5 and this, the smoke bombs. GP5 blocked it perfectly. This one, eh, if it kind of worked. Uh, whenever I had to tighten this up just to get a better face seal, um, but it did pretty much work. So this f f uh, combination does work. So if you're looking for this kind of World War II style mask and you kind of like this look, then yeah, this is a great mask for what it is. Um, they're not that expensive. I got mine at a g good offer of $35. They're usually like $50 on eBay. So, they're a little bit a little bit more expensive than like a GP5, but I mean, they're a decent mask. So, my my overall opinion of this mask is it's good and it's good if you're looking for this kind of look. Now, so I um I don't have my other filter to show you guys with this on, but any GP5 compatible filter will work with this mask. It's the same thread. So um, that's about all I ha time I have for this video tonight today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.